this first four picks and March Madness betting commandments edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now offering a weekend basketball bonus. Place four fifty dollars basketball bets, and regardless of outcome, you'll get a fifty dollars free bet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as $25,000 with one entry. Head over to stableduel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to five hundred dollars in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app for your chance to win three thousand dollars in the DGen dance. To the sports gambling podcast. I am Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. Oh hell yeah, Sean! I wrote a full a longest uh, longest document I've created in a long time <laughs> with words, not numbers. Talking March Madness betting commandments. Didn't have to sweat a goddamn thing on that selection. Is that we Sunday. are the gambling gods giving you the March Madness betting commandments. Do I need to stand up, <laughs> ACC champs? <laughs> the space I'm in right now, fully aroused on Coach Pry. Yes. Fully aroused on Brian Dable. When to call. And the pro, the pro, and the idea. That a reclamation pro, uh, project, I'll call it. I don't want to be too optimistic. Is coming with Danny Dimes, but to see Mike Young and these dudes, Storm Murphy, Justin Mutz. Uh, by the way, not a tougher dude in college basketball. Going against a potential top pick in the NBA draft, no problem. And uh, you know the whole team, awesome. A uh, Hunter Couture. We all need a little bit more of that in our lives. That was fucking March Madness, and, and here's what I'll say: This is the the moment I'll remember. I'll take with me was not them lighting up the scoring sheet, not them uh, dominating Duke the entire game, and still somehow getting disrespected with an 11 seed. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm gonna remember. It's a meaningless charge. Ben Carroll took a charge from Mutz, horrible call, or sorry, good call. And Coach K thought it was a horrible call, and he stood up. He he sits down now. I don't know if you watch. It. He doesn't do interviews. He sits down, and he just stood up and looked at that official and said, "Now, now you could hear it on the broadcast. <laughs> now." And then he continues to stand up. Now, walking to the middle of the court. Now, shout out to ESPN for realizing this and going to the wide shot and just watching him mad dog this official as if maybe a payment was made. Maybe well, this this right, official. Right. How do you think they got Buddy Beheim off the uh, out of I'm, the tournament? I'm starting to believe that now because holy shit, was he mad? But to not only win their first ACC basketball championship, which is fucking awesome, but to do it in the last game Coach K will ever coach in an ACC tournament, the last game he'll ever coach. <laughs> he really knows in how the to not go, March Madness. He really knows how to go out on bottom. Loser. Let's be honest. Loser. Uh, joining us as always, to talk college basketball. Kobe Dank in the database. Brian Sorry. just had was on the soapbox. The monologue well, fired up. The energy in the studio is through the roof. The Hokies. It, we, we have the pre-Vegas Eve energy here. And just for the record, uh, the basketball behind me. I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe, maybe a little bit there. That was there before they won the championship. I, I'll let the record <laughs> show. It was. Uh, my favorite part about Kramer's opening rant was it was this is great. Coach Bry yeah. is great. Well, the, the reclamation of Danny Dimes. All right, I don't want to go too far. 
Well, I did want to bring it up. What's it up? Is, what's up, Colby? It is part of why you I'm just excited. taped a um, a reaction pod to Selection Sunday college basketball experience. Make sure you check that out. We went deep. We went deep, just reaction pod style. Mm. And I, look, I know you're talking about the ACC. I've covered college basketball all year long. <laughs> who who is the ACC? Oh, oh uh, the Big Ten. How about Iowa? I gave out this winner. Oh, the Iowa Hawkeyes doing things, all right? Hey, the Hokies. Kobe, you, you're doing great too. That was not an anti. That was not a Sean Green esque <laughs> tout where it was all about him stomping on us. This was a pro well, Virginia Tech tout. I know. This and, was, and aside this from was Virginia about, Tech, yeah, I don't want to say it. I, I don't. I, I can't imagine it's related, but l- great things are happening on campus since Coach Pry showed up. All right, <laughs> he somehow leaked him and Mike Young interact on Twitter. It's fucking great. And if you se- if you separate Virginia Tech outside of this, because I I think the ACC got a lot of love today, uh, unjustly in my opinion. Who got the love? Notre Dame, Duke, North Carolina, and they shouldn't have got it. Notre Dame got the love yeah. by getting in the tournament. Yes. Who should have been in above Notre Dame? Xavier. Mm. Uh, Notre Dame's resume: they only have four wins over teams in the yeah, quad, Xavier one and get, two. Get boned. Notre Dame actually, if you look, they only have two te- two wins against teams in the NCAA tournament, and that is North Carolina and Kentucky. Now that Kentucky win obviously is a great win, but when you look at Xavier and what they did, I'll just rattle off wins here: Ohio State, Kent State, Virginia Tech. Mm. Uh, Oklahoma State, who would have been in the tournament had they actually been able to qualify. Uh, Marquette <laughs> made the tournament. Well, who's, who's Creighton, your, they swept Creighton. Who's your biggest snub of the entire tourney? I, th- I think it's Xavier. I think it's Xavier. Xavier. Um, what about Texas A and M? No, yeah. they had see Texas A and M and Wake Forest deserve. Wake Forest, I was fine not getting it. You well, they deserve it. They they had like the 350 strength of schedule. Like those teams, I'm sorry. Probably, schedule more aggressively yeah. at a conference and, and you deserve it. No, I yeah. think it's probably the same reason. I'm that, just laughing at Coley's intense look. You want to schedule cupcakes? This is what you yeah, get. I have you get a zero, sick stomach. I have zero sympathy for that. Like, like, okay. Yeah, you went to the SEC championship game. Goodbye. I, well, I, I do think you can't only reward a, a, de- a, a deep or championship or well, a deep run in a in a playoff situation because it is, you know, it's just one run, but it does show that you're hot at the right time of the season. And I'm sure the Hokies also would have gotten snubbed had they not beaten Duke. Um, but that would have been interesting if they wouldn't have won. But still, Virginia Tech had a much better strength of schedule than Texas A and M. Yeah, no, and I, yeah. I think the argument for it though is recency bias, and they're playing well now, and and all of that, all of that jazz. But it seems like the consistent theme was that the committee didn't really give a shit about the conference tournaments. Well, yeah, uh, right. I mean, yeah. It, that that was my takeaway. Right, they didn't p- but, penalize but Notre Dame. Here's the problem, though, with that. Indiana got in, though. Would you do you think Indiana gets in without those conference? So maybe they wins? squeak in. Well, no. The the biggest the elephant in the room here is Michigan. Michigan, yeah. Michigan, in my opinion, like I thought they were, I thought they might've been out with that loss. This is no, what that's I my mean. Point. They it, didn't look at the tourney. Maybe it didn't. Know. Maybe they didn't punish teams for getting knocked out early. Well, you see a smidge in a college football go on with the NCAA tournament. <laughs> I, like Duke should not be a two seed Tennessee fans. I'm all on board with you. I'm, I'm looking at it right here. Who, 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 I, I guess like who got helped by their conference tournament run Indiana you threw out is a maybe. Yeah. For, I mean, Virginia. I mean, the teams that won. So well, they like, won it. Yeah, they won yeah. the auto bid. I'm saying who went deep. But Indiana was lost. someone that that I thought got wouldn't have. Maybe Davidson. You can make the case. Maybe Davidson. Um, they no, probably are in regardless. Uh, but right? you look at four of the yeah. But I mean, who knows the way yeah. everything was shaking? But uh, the blue bloods there of Michigan, North Carolina, Duke, um, and one other team that I'm drawing a blank on right now really got f- like I mean. Uh, how the fuck is Duke a two seed? How, how is Kentucky a two seed over Tennessee when Tennessee has beat them twice badly in the past two weeks? You know, it doesn't Ten, make a lot of it, sense. It seems like yeah. in Tennessee got boned. It doesn't seem like their their championship counted. Michigan though was the biggest one. Michigan was like, you wait, you they're not even in the playing games. Playing? You th- you're just giving them that. You're giving them that. Felt like they should have earned it. All right. Man, we got we got an awesome episode, and again, this week coming up, we're gonna be live from the win all week, cranking out podcasts. Monday, uh, we got a very uh, special podcast. Monday and Tuesday, we will be going over all our against the spread picks for the first round, breaking it up in uh, two days. We're gonna do the uh, give out Thursday's picks on Monday, uh, Friday's games on Tuesday. 
Wednesday we'll be doing live shows. Thursday, Friday, all from the win. It's gonna be awesome. Fire it up. Let's go. Oh yeah, win bet. You want to bet with SGPN? You got to do it over at Win Bet. Bet big, win bigger. If you haven't hopped in over at Win Bet, man. The uh, bet ten dollars, get two hundred dollars in credits. That's awesome. Plus, they get the March Madness bonus. All users who bet at least fifty dollars on a men's uh, college basketball champion futures market will receive a ten dollar free bet for each game that team wins in the tourney, starting with the Sweet Sixteen and. WinBet Casino customers, they're now offering a 100% first deposit match up to $1,000. That's right, 100% deposit match. I mean, up to $1,000. You can have the, you're not making it out to Vegas. And if you are making it out to Vegas, hit us up. We'll be uh, having some cocktails, watching some games. Tweet us at Gambling Podcast, hop in the Slack. Let's, uh, let's get involved here. Uh, I mean, you could be playing blackjack on the WinBet Casino while watching. Some first half unders. Let's go. Offer subject to change. Terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present state where play through winbet is available. You are somebody who knows a game in front call 1 800 522 4700. Oh, and if that wasn't enough. Uh oh. So we're going to hit the March Madness betting commandments. Then uh, first four picks because we have four games to break down. ATS. And it is time for some big <coughs> contest <coughs> news. That's right. Sports Gambling Podcast Network in conjunction with SGPN, aka ourselves, taking money out of our pocketbooks to reward you, the awesome listeners. We're going to be giving away $3,000, literally, out of our own pockets. $3,000 up for grabs. $2,500 first place, $500 second place. The contest, of course, is free. It is called the (laughs) DGEN Dance. Uh, we just, um, if you go, if you fire up the uh, app, it might be there now. We, you'll get a notification. It's all through the app. Uh, winner take all, or not winner take all. Twenty five hundred first, five hundred dollars for second place. You can bet on anything you want with the ten thousand dollar credit. So, if you want to just say screw it and and maybe find a sixteen seed money line and put your ten thousand credits on that, whatever sort of strategy you want to do. So. Uh, total handicap and styles, uh, styles make fights. So a lot of fun there, and uh, three thousand up for grabs. Does this include contest? Should be live sometime uh, Monday early afternoon. Colby wants to know. I, I I'm reading his mind right now, but will the NIT and CBI games be <laughs> part of the contest? Uh, no, I don't okay. think so. But. I can't guarantee you that. You see his <laughs> the tail start wagon. Let's go. Because we do have NIT action on on Tuesday uh, and Wednesday. And, and by the way, South Carolina <laughs> got robbed from not making the NIT. Yes. All right. Colby, <laughs> save the NIT. Shout out to Frank Martin. Save you the, NIT, the NIT, NIT reaction pod for the college basketball <laughs> did experience. You, did like. you guys pick an NIT bracket? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. It okay. just came out as like honestly, I think in the past five minutes. Yeah, I guess we'll, they have yeah. to we'll be getting yeah. down on some NIT action. Yeah. And if that wasn't enough, giving away. Three thousand dollars. We're going to be giving away a SGP hoodie every day. March Madness games are happening, so even into April there. And all you got to do is go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash merch madness m e r c h madness all one word there merch madness. Check that out, and it's a uh, very again free to enter. Just take a, a screenshot of you reviewing uh, one of our many feeds or the app. Submit that, and uh, you get a chance to win. Multiple entries are allowed, so if you want to really uh, load the uh, ballot box, there. I mean, how many feeds do we have now, Ryan? Like sixteen, mm, seventeen, it's, it's plus a lot. the app. Round up to twenty. Uh, big, big uh, chance uh, big to get. Chance. <laughs> you have good odds there to get paid. It's mega you, big <laughs> chance. Super. If you stuff the uh, ballot box. All right, now it's time for the March Madness uh, Ten Commandments. Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, Kramer, kick it off. First commandment. All right, come on. You know where we're going here. We it, it, this should be the closer, really. This is the headliner. Sean's <laughs> standing up right now. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. But thou shall bet all thirty six first half unders. Uh, come on, what what's there? We we all lived last year. We all experienced twenty six seven and three. Uh, the happening as it was documented uh, beautifully uh, in the cinema. 
seventy nine percent last year. The first ten hit. So if you parlay them, you're you're basically uh, we're geniuses. Overall, Sean, overall number since we've expanded to a play in game, which of course Colby would tell you is 2011. We're at 58.91% wow. against the And spread. that's even with the uh, 2017 was probably the worst year. That was only 39%. And other than that, looking pretty good. I mean, 2014 slightly yeah, below the at real 47. Ta- the real takeaway is uh, if we exclude the year that there were no games. So it, I'm not going to call that a push Sean. that was a loss. <laughs> I'm going to add that as a loss. It was a year. loss. I'm still, uh, I wake we, up in the middle of the night sometimes since about that. 2011. Uh, including the COVID year as a loss, there were four losing seasons only. So wow, that's that's pretty good. That what do you mean pretty? It's it's great, especially when things like last year happen. Yeah, I mean seventy nine percent is the uh, feels like a bit of an outlier, but even if it regresses to it, sixty nine percent, it's seven three and one. Like, well, seven and four if you include the COVID loss. <laughs> seven and four against the, as a at years, so profitable years seven and four. So. I mean, look, we had a great year last year. Some would say regression is coming. I would say our rocket ship is headed the fuck up. Let's go. And I would want to get on now because this bitch is going to appreciate. I, it's going to get 85%. I mean, I, mean, I am worried that we're going to crash the win bet servers uh, because all our <laughs> listeners, as soon as the, uh, the numbers are first gonna... halves are posted, it's going to well, be, and, and I gotta, I, uh, I think it was a question in the slack or YouTube saying, Hey, should we hold off on the first half unders now? Generally as an under better, you want to wait till the, you know, closer to tip off because Gosh. generally the total goes up, but I think this might be the exception. Th- this, I'm worried the cats out of the bag a little bit. Yeah. This cool back alley podcast. You guys are listening to that. There's some ears yeah. that are uh, piping we're catch, into this. We're catching more heat. I, I was on Reddit and they asked favorite March Madness betting trend and <laughs> everyone responded first half unders. So I'm, I'm slightly worried that we've tipped the public off to our greatest uh, trend of all uh, time. It was very, very sharp last year. So uh, with that, uh, I'll see you at the window because I'm betting all 30. I'll see you at the window. Well, and here's the beauty of it this year. I can actually, for the first time in my life, bet all 36. Oh yeah, because we will be normally oh, we yeah. don't get out there until the first four yeah. is either uh, played or whatever. So that's awesome. Hell All yeah. right, commandment number two: Thou shalt respect balanced teams. And what do we yeah. mean by that? Only two times has the NCAA champ come from outside the top twenty. Ken Palm uh, for offensive and defensive efficiency. The twenty fourteen UConn team. Uh, and Which they weren't was, even that far off uh, offensively. They were 39th offensively, yeah. 10th defensively. But they and also, if you watch yeah. that eye they, test, like they're <laughs> they were clearly an outlier. Well, they weren't in the tour. Like Colby will point out again, speaking for him, but they they won't they wouldn't have made the tourney that the year if they didn't win their conference. yeah. No. Kevin and Kevin Alley just collected. Shout out to your lawyers. <laughs> shout yeah. out, <laughs> shout out to your lawyers as you just collected a fat paycheck. Agree. And um, uh, the other outlier is the 2021 <laughs> Baylor team. Uh, second in offense, twenty-two in defense. Right so again, there. just just outside. And if you want to have a fun laugh, go back and listen to listen to last year's <laughs> March Madness betting commandments, where Colby, like we we point out that Baylor, like fade them, they're not going to win the national championship, and Colby's just like, well, guys, uh, the data is probably not very good this year because <laughs> some teams didn't play a lot of games and some did. Well, I, I, I look. And me and Sean just hammered it home, and you're like, Baylor, no. Well, <laughs> I know we're claiming this, but I, I will say, like, there are find one of the two that is not that far away because I, I, I don't buy into all the analytics as much. Whoa. Like Texas Tech, if if Hunter doesn't hit that three for Virginia, Texas yeah, Tech no. had a three point lead with five seconds left. Some, they they were not a top twenty offense. Some variance. Happen to allow this to be so extreme. Agreed, but I mean, I I went back and verified this today. You, Ken Palm goes back to 2002. Every single champ fell inside the top 20 in both offense and defense. And furthermore, I kind of took this nugget and went even further. Wife and kids are out of town, so you know a little bit of a little extra college basketball time for me and myself. Um, <laughs> The the next like tier of teams who are like Colby's what Colby is pointing out the teams who were are close but not there so I ranked these overall efficiency but didn't make the original list 
Well, actually, have we given no, out? No, we list? haven't gotten. Oh. So the the uh, the five teams right now that are top twenty, both offense oh. and defense. So, so these are your five potential national champions: Gonzaga, Arizona, Baylor, Houston, and UCLA. All top five in both. Colby, and, anyone there you want to have a like a little bone to pick with? Well, I mean, Houston, Houston right? Look, they always, uh, and I I think Kelvin Sampson should probably be coach of the year considering what he's had yeah. to endure this year. But uh, they are missing two of their best players. They're out for the year. So that stat right there, kind of, I, I would be, I would be, I would so be very, very off, shocked maybe. if they won, if they won the championship. This okay. Year. Yeah. Well, uh, and just shout out to the chat, uh, Luna Lovegood, which mm. honestly sounds mm. like a bot that- name, <laughs> but <laughs> bringing in a great point of Indiana by fifteen, Wyoming tired and short bench. We're gonna get to the first four picks, but Ooh. just thought it was funny <laughs> that it sounded like a bot name, but coming in with actual <laughs> handicapping takes. Sweet, sweet takes. But, but Texas Tech was twenty fifth offensively. My point is that yeah. So like, here are the teams that are okay. close: Kentucky fourth offense, twenty seventh defense; Kansas sixth offense, 29th defense; Tennessee thirty sixth offense. Third defense, Texas Tech, sixty fifth offense, first in defense, Auburn twenty fourth in offense, eighth in defense, Villanova eighth in offense, twenty eighth in defense, and Duke seventh in offense, forty fourth in defense. Uh, I mean, that's a tier of teams to me that can disappoint, uh, with the exception yeah. of Kentucky. I, I would argue that Kentucky would be inside the top twenty for both had they not but, suffered. And, and here's those another injuries. reason why, like I think the numbers are constantly changing. The transfer <laughs> portal, the the transfer portal. It has uh, like teams don't that so the analytics lie to you more now I think because okay. it takes time to gel as a team with with the transfer portal like no, three I years agree. ago well, there was like ten transfers I totally There's agree th- thousands of them now but the data still suggests that the the title winning team is going to come from that list of five and the final four is going to be made up of them and and some of the teams we just listed. A uh, one fun nugget I found this, Sean. Yes. When you have a team that is ranked in the top twenty in offense and outside the top hundred in defense, they are a putrid forty-two percent against the spread in their first round game. So wow. teams to circle right now, Purdue. All, the, all these are fade teams. These are teams we might look to fade because they are a, a top is- offense, but they have no defense, and now their level of comps are obviously going up. Purdue, Davidson, South Dakota State, Ohio State, and Miami. Yeah, love it. Uh, kind of like a high variance fade. Uh, the flip of that with with defense isn't quite as juicy, but it would be San Diego State, Iowa State, and Creighton as potential good defense, horrible no offense. offense. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, Kramer, third third uh, betting commandment. I feel like that those were the two meatiest betting commandments. So these will go quicker. Uh, come on, this is a tradition like uh, none other. <laughs> uh, Jim Nance and the Mimis and Bill Self getting faded by me after the first round. And guess what happened last year, Sean? Oh. The the first half owners weren't enough in terms of a <laughs> transcendent uh performance by us. Bill we tell you to fade Bill Self, and Bill Self goes out and has the worst loss in the history of Kansas March Madness basketball, <laughs> Colby. Eighty five to fifty one at the hands of USC. Yeah, that was pretty in the I, second round. I mean, so that was that I did not see coming. So I, I thought mean, it, I do fade Bill Self, but I didn't see that bad of a loss. I yeah, thought it'd be yeah. fun Same. to to qu- just glance at the bracket. Of course, they're a one seed. What point do we fade them? Because they have a play in winner, and then it's no, San, but they got gifted that side of the San bracket. Diego State and Creighton, two of the fade teams we just mentioned for having good defense, no offense. I, is it I, I, is it in the Sweet Sixteen with Iowa coming coming up there? Pro, or Providence. I'll say Sweet Sixteen this year. Providence, let's yeah. go. I'll say you they, Sweet that, Sixteen. That wake up call game by Providence. That was exactly yeah. what Ed Cooley needed to get the Friars' uh, attention. Ed Cooley. All right. Uh, next one. Thou shalt fade the first round upsets. Uh, underdogs of at least seven points that are off a straight up win. As an underdog of at least six points, have gone a woeful ten and twenty five against the spread over the last thirty five attempts. Not great last year. Two and three, but. No, 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 no. Like that's sorry. It should, it should be read the other way around. I was, I was, uh, I was clearly. Oh, in, three and two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I thought it was decent last year. So three and well, two. No, no. It, I, <laughs> I was right. Like the 10 and 25, we want it to be bad. Right. So it, it like the team, okay. you get what I'm saying? You're fading that team. So the trend went yes. three and two, but the teams yes. went two and yes. three. Okay. Yes. Got it. Yes. So 
Again, big uh, upset <laughs> round one. Upset. You're feeling your. I mean, th- this is situational fate, handicapping yeah. 101. Big upset first game. You're gonna cool off second game. Fade recency. Exactly. That's what this is. And every everyone's watching that first round, and then they're like, "Shit, I gotta get." The, everyone realizes they have that moment Saturday Sunday when they realize we had so many games on Thursday and Friday, and then it goes to half, and then half of eight is only four. Everyone starts panicking. So they got to get their action in on those Saturday, Sunday games for the first round. All right. Next to one Kramer, let it rip. Thou, thou shalt ignore the seed number. This is becoming more and more obvious. Uh, Colby was belly aching at the TV. Just cl- looking at the ah, Vegas tells you this is a bad seating because the the line is even. And you know what? You want to use Virginia Tech as an example, as an 11 seed being a favorite. It, it's just seeming more and more that maybe that this is this is parody, Colby. This is a good thing for college basketball. Oh, of course, but man. Since using the five seeds as the example, of course, the five five twelve, the most popular upset matchup. Since 2012, the five seeds are 19 and 17 straight up, but only 13, 22 and one against the spread over the last five tourneys. Of course, I'm not counting any of the losses from the, the missed year straight up 13 and seven. The five seeds are, but only seven, 12 and one against the spread. Now this obviously involves a lot of situations where the five seeds are winning games and not covering the number meaning what? There's just value. There's value in fading these five seeds because they're always the same kind of team. Yeah, I got a sheet here, and um, someone shared this in the Slack. The screenshot of uh, seed numbers and their ATS. The the five and six seed are comically bad. Uh, six seeds. Uh, everyone talks about the the five seeds, and they're forty three point one percent. The six seed is actually worse at forty two point three uh, percent. Obviously, some of the higher ones are, as you'd imagine, the fifty-seven percent on the eleven seed, the fifty-six percent on the twelve seed, even the fifteen seed. Or uh, oh, another one is that's good is the three seed at fifty-five percent. So again, um, and the seven eight seed, se- uh, seven seeds fifty-five percent. So yeah, I mean, again, it, I think our audience is sharp enough uh, to re- res- respond and understand. Uh, you throw the seeds out when you're picking these games, ATS, but j- always a good reminder uh, how crazy some of these splits are. Well, and I, I think um, oh, I, I had the, let me pull up this number. I accidentally closed the sheet. Uh, if you bet every single 12, 13, 14, and 15 seed on the money line, $100 a piece, last year you won $1,400. Now, oh it. My it God. Obviously, the 15 seed winning helps that a, a bit, but you know, it just shows you you don't have to going one in three uh, or uh, uh, straight up with some of these matchups is is maybe all you need to do. When in doubt, take the dog. Let's go. Unless it's a baby. Colby, dog. you want to pick uh, pick one of these uh, ones you like for for what? What are we talking about? Five twelve? No, March oh. Madness oh, okay. betting commandments. Fire off one of these that looks interesting. Oh, this well, is this is you, Colby's you know, number you, six yeah. is Colby. You, you know, you know that I'm all about the. Uh, I don't want to take the playing games. He throw, did, throw out the yeah. commandment in commandment form. It's just like the NFL playoffs, man. You see this, and this is the biggest argument on on me wanting a large no, college not, football you're not, you're playoff. You're saying it like a command. Is, Imagine if yeah. you're Moses. Now you can't okay. chisel all that into a tablet. Come on, Colby. <laughs> uh, thou shall respect the playing game. Oh, all right. Uh, only once. Since 2011, so that's 10 years. Yeah, did a a team in the play-in game not make the round of 32? Okay, that's good. Five for the times, so half the times uh, a, a play-in team has reached the Sweet 16 or better. Well, that's good for filling out a bracket. It means yeah. you got to pick one of them, and it's not you're not taking one of the 16 seeds. That's for sure. Brian Reese pointing out that San Diego State did win the title in 2020. Oh my God. Yeah. I heard Dayton. Dayton might have won. Ryan, <laughs> That's true. Why right? are we why are we not incorporating we had a tournament in 2020? You That's keep true. saying there was no How tournament. How are the first half unders in that? Yeah. <laughs> right? We should have got our old <laughs> go back our old check. friends to set lines on the first half I, unders I, I for those. I don't think they <laughs> had DJ first Madness. Halves. Cowards we, wouldn't put up first half totals. I feel like we had live numbers though, didn't we? Or was we that did. late? We had live wagering and uh for the play in tournaments as well. All right, this one. 
Well, and uh, two times they made the final four. So including last year, UCLA, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. no Syracuse to do it this time. Sure. Uh, Bayheim. The, the, I'm sure he's in one of these places. This year, games, right? Syracuse is Michigan. All right. I normally get furious when I see these teams Wait. in the tournament, but then they shut me up because Syracuse will like end up in the elite eight. Sean play the breaking news. I, this just came across, across the wire. Buddy Bayheim has transferred to, to Michigan, Michigan oh, as, yes. par, as, par, as part of the deal to get them into the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. All right, Kramer, do uh do number seven. I got eight. Thou shall not believe in fairy tales since 1985. Sorry, uh, sorry, Colby, and all all the Cinderella lovers. Since 1985, only four teams outside the top three seeds have won the national championship. Fifteen out of the 144 Final Four teams have come from outside the top seven. Well, the so top what is, seven's still a lot of fucking teams. It is. <laughs> And what we had one last year yeah. with, again, UCLA. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it comes back to like when you're doing your bracket contest, which I assume you're you, most people yeah. still fill bra- brackets out, right? They print them out, they write the pen, they then uh, submit them in hand by hand because humans talk to each other in person. Uh, <laughs> I think the key to remember is, you know, you want to get to that, uh, that sweet spot. You gotta have a, gotta have a lot of chalk. I think my 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 new strategy, which you know, I used it last year. I didn't use it for DJ. Straight Madden. eating chalk. I you know three chalky Final Four picks and one one not so chalky. Yeah, that's usually and uh, it's not listed on here as a commandment, but I think what's the number you want to get to? Between oh, that number like, is bullshit. Oh, okay. I, I think that I think they say like uh, what like thirteen or eleven something like that. Yeah, eleven sounds like a good combination. Give me of a, give numbers. me a solid eight. That sounds all delicious. right. Eight sounds delicious. <laughs> you got you got to have a little one. All right. Nine maybe. Last one cuz fuck it. Let's start let's start picking some games here. <laughs> Thou shalt keep holy thy free throw percentage in the round of 64 since the 2014 NCAA tournament. Teams that shoot 70.4% or better from the free throw line are 47 36 and 1 against the spread against teams who shoot 70.3% or worse from the free throw line. And if you if you stretch it out, like really the sweet spot is uh, a team that hits above 70% that's like five points uh better than the other team. You know, so if they're like 72 and a half percent, the other team 67 and a half percent, that is the Whoa. real sweet spot. It's fucking nerd over here diving into the numbers. <laughs> Going, I mean, if you can get like a 10 point. Uh, teams that were like a uh, a ten percentage point difference last year, three and one against the spread in twenty twenty one. So again, nerd! bit of a nerd, <laughs> but the nerds get it done. Free throw percentage, offensive rebounding. I don't have any nuggets on it, but it matters. Sean likes it too. I do. I like. It was one of the uh, the best things I could do on the court when I was still playing, still hooping it out there. Oh man! Oh, this is a perfect time. We're talking March Madness. We're talking Degen Madness. You know what else is uh is pure madness? Not using Manscaped for your below the belt grooming. You want you want to see a clean game? You want clean balls? Manscaped.com delivers it. Oh man, fire up that lawnmower 4.0. Again, if you're trying to trying to get laid, you're just gonna be watching college basketball all day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the couch. Take some you time. Do a little uh little spring cleaning. I just cleaned out my closet. I donated a bunch of clothes. Hashtag I'm a hero. And uh, you know, you should do the same thing with your junk. Clean out all those old pubes. Don't don't donate them to charity. No one <laughs> wants that. No one wants hair. Get rid of it, especially down there. Manscaped.com, promo code SGP. Oh man, 20% off and free shipping. Complete your grooming game this spring with the new refined cologne signature sent by Manscaped. Again, yeah, just show uh to the lady friend, you, you know, hey, I'm I'm putting an effort in. Let's go. If you, you know, we're talking about first half unders. You want uh, someone someone to hammer your first half under, make sure you go to manscaped.com, promo code SGP, 20% off, and free shipping. All right, let's do it. First four. First half unders, baby. Let's go. Uh we don't have first half numbers yet, no. but just so we're we're going to document it. We are all on the first half unders. Yes, lock it in. 340. 
on beautiful. Uh, what is this? Tuesday, Tuesday, March 15th, three 40. Love the early start time. Uh, we'll be out and be, we might be doing our show at this time. Who knows? Uh, we got 16 seed, Texas, a and M Corpus Christi taking on Texas Southern who, by the way, didn't even need to update this cell on the sheet from last year. They were laying two and a half last year. <laughs> this year, Texas Southern's laying three and a half. Totals one thirty-five. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say watching Texas Southern basketball makes me fall in love with the game, but I, I can't say I, I've, I've watched a ton of Corpus Christi either. But I, I just doesn't feel good laying this many points. They've been my boys, the Islanders. Corpus Christi. Uh, look, they, they, uh, for the past two years, they've been a a, a team that I, I take often, um, and Uh-oh. the wrong team's favorite here. Oh, Look no. at the stats. Look, the, thou shall listen to the amendments here. Um, and yeah, it's no, it's yeah, commandments. Commandments, whatever the fuck, right? And the right, uh, to, the right to bear arms. So uh, says Moses. <laughs> <laughs> and and look look at this here. Uh, every single statistic oh, you can think of is is in Corpus Christi's favor, but especially the free throw line, Sean. Texas oh, Southern's three hundred and eighteenth <laughs> in the nation. Corpus Christi's ninety fifth. No, there is a there is a massive turn of uh, free throw uh, difference. No, which a- you, every single stat, honestly, yeah, every single stat. I mean, Texas Southern <laughs> yeah. is thirteenth in the nation def- uh, defensive effective <laughs> field goal percentage. That's the only. That's like the best stat for them, but Texas A&M Corpus Christi, 16th best offensive rebounding team in the country. How's that for your amendments? It's great. Right. Isaac uh, <laughs> Mushila, although I'm, I, his he does have Mush in his name. I am slightly worried about yeah. betting on a Mush. 13 and a half points per game, nine and a half rebounds per game. Texas Southern, you know, they're like a they're like your classic balanced team. With good defense, but I'm with you, Colby. I don't understand why they're favored by three and a half. That makes no sense, dude. I mean, it's every single statistic really that that you can pull up favors Corpus Christi. You look at it, whether it's pace, whether it's field goal percentage, whether it's three point percentage, whether it's rebounding, whether it's assists, whether it's steals. I mean, they have an advantage in every single c- taking care of the ball. They're both well, terrible I, at I, taking care of the ball, but 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 Corpus Christi is still better. And and Corpus Christi will turn you over, and I think that's the key here. Texas Southern, bottom ten in the country, turning the ball over. We're on a neutral court here. We're in the first half under bubble, right? Like the what's part of the premise? These teams are a little tight. They might make a couple mistakes. I expect them to be loose with the ball, and I think it actually falls specifically into your free throw commandment in terms of like the gap between. Uh, Texas Southern and and Corpus Christi, so yeah, uh, all three on the dog. Let's Cor- got it. Corpus Christi played dog. like Minnesota and Notre Dame tough on the road. They, they're going to win this one. Why do you think the they're so off on this number? Maybe the fact Southern went last year. I don't know. I mean, uh, okay. Team people, rivalry you think, game. <laughs> you think the average Joe's going to be like, oh yeah, I remember that Texas no. Southern. No, I mean maybe they're on the something. I don't know. And this one's uh, again the first four in Dayton, second game of the night. Projected to be at six ten here on the West Coast, eleven seed Wyoming, ta- and this is a great game. I beat you to it, Colby. The eleven seed Wyoming taking on the, another eleven seed Indiana. Indiana minus three and a half, one thirty one and a half is the total. Uh, we'll be on the first half under here as well. <laughs> uh, Wyoming away from home is it, not the first. It, this one's tough for me because I I want I wanted to bet Wyoming. I came into the situation. I with did a, too, but then you kind of look at the uh, I don't know. You look at the numbers. You look at kind of what Indiana's uh, done, and I I do like Luna Lovegood uh, in the YouTube chat. Uh, her point about you know why why are we being tired in a short bench? I think that's I think that's a actually a, a really uh, solid point there. Wyoming does have the free throw edge only by like, you know, not even three full percent there. I don't know if I, I if I love that enough. Uh, I think Indiana's just played better competition. No offense, Colby, but I'm, I'm going uh, I'm going to Indiana minus three and a half. Yeah. I think the real point here, I mean, is I've made this trip from Dayton to Indiana. It is nothing. <laughs> this is like two hours. Yeah, they're going to be like they're going to yeah. have a home court advantage. Twenty yeah. first oh. in the nation in defensive efficiency. This is a road game for Wyoming. That's the real thing you circle. And um, they they beat they beat Illinois. They beat Purdue. 
Um, and Wyoming has some good players. Like I, I, I'm kind of annoyed that Wyoming is playing Indiana because I feel like if they got a different seed here, I might, I might be on yeah. uh, Wyoming, but I, I feel like well, I got to go probably should be Michigan, Indiana. Indiana, you know, Yeah, but uh, no, honest, I'm, <laughs> no uh, um, I, I sh- agree. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to go Indiana just cause I think that home, that home crowd is going to be 98% well, Indiana. What do you, I mean, what, what would, it, what do you give Indiana has got a pretty good crowd. I mean, you would say their home court is at least average. So, uh, so that, that puts this number. If, if it's on a n- neutral and it's a pick, then they're favored by three and a half. Uh, they're probably even a better team on top of that. So maybe this should be four and a half. Uh, I, again, I, as much as I want to fade the the Big Ten, because it does seem like for some reason they got a, a a nice a nice role, I got to take Indiana here. I'm with you guys. Like the number just it seems like it should be a tad bigger, and it's Wyoming away from. I I don't love Wyoming as much away from home. Yeah, I think I think you got to go uh, go Indiana here. All right, two more games left of the first four. Oh, so so excited these next couple games. Almost excited as when I hear about Stable Duel. Giddy up! You like horse racing? You like DFS? Stable Duel is where you gotta go. You can win up to as up to uh, twenty five grand with one entry. They got free games. They got paid games. Get your set up over at StableDuel.com. Very easy to get started. We got plenty of picks, plenty of content to help you build your stable. See how many. Uh, See how many winners you can put together in the old stable dual circle. Again, uh, download the app, get it going, check out all the cool stats they got on there as well. And I'll see you in the winner circle. StableDuel.com. <laughs> this is a hell of a game. Excellent work, Sean. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's head over to Wednesday. <laughs> Another eleven seed play in game. Rutgers. 3 40 PM on the West Coast. Rutgers. 3:40 p.m. in Las Vegas, where we'll be. Rutgers catching a point against Notre Dame. 132 is the total. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how you take Notre Dame. I know it's the same <laughs> kind of like proximity to their campus situation versus Rutgers. That's the dangerous thing, right? Is that this is going to be a Notre Dame crowd? Yeah, yeah. but. Uh, this is the I'm way more excited to watch Wyoming, Indiana than I am Rutgers, Notre Dame because I feel like whoever comes out of this game, I'm I'm not they're not going to be the team I I have the have advancing out of the first round from the. I mean, Notre Dame has a good offense, right? Thirteenth or sorry, nineteenth uh, in the nation three point percentage, twenty eighth in the nation effective field goal percentage, but Rutgers to me is just still an eye test. Like they're just still a scrappy team and. I don't know. I, I I kept wanting to ride them at the Big Ten tournament. Wheels came off there, but um, you know, Ron Harper Jr. fifteen point six uh, points per game, five point nine rebounds per game. Also a dog. Yeah, dog. They they just beat really good teams. I don't know. Like I I just don't see this Rutgers team getting knocked out in a play in game. But uh, I also but- I also do kind of want to fade the Big Ten. Like that's where I'm torn here. I know I'm a Jersey guy. I'm on Rutgers. I just think that they have a difference maker when the game's on the line. Yeah, that's, that's and, and I Notre Dame's once again away from South Bend. They haven't been good all year. Yeah. So uh, you may, maybe they travel well and they show up. But uh, what I was gonna say well, to start was I just watched I just watched Notre Dame like up close and personal, and they're just they're not they I don't you know to your point earlier, Colby. I they're not that good. Yeah, and Rutgers sucks away from home too. So we do have that. I, I get that they, counter they argument. Wisconsin in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's a nice win. I just think there's a flat out better team. You watch both. There's one team that Rutgers impresses you more, and that's Ru- Rutgers. Well, what about the free throw? We got to we got to bring it up. Yeah, they're not a. <laughs> they're not Notre Dame. They, yeah. they well now Actually, technically you know they're not below seventy percent. So that little stat I was throwing out. Okay. It is a five point. It is a five percentage difference. Now, you watch. know what? G- give me Notre Dame. That for the same reasons Rutgers couldn't handle Iowa. Three point lines a problem. Let's go. Yeah, Notre, Notre Dame will hit and get their shot. It's just weird. I don't know why I'm so into this Rutgers team, but I I I can't go against them right now. They they just passed the eye test for me too much. I'm to worried fade. about making sure my clients uh, get the maximum EV. So I'm going to give you the winning side, <laughs> Notre Dame. 6 10 on the West Coast. Bryant, Wright State, awesome 16 game. seed play in. 
Uh, Wright State minus two, one fifty two. That's a big total. Uh, Colby, which team has uh, has the nation's leading scorer? Uh, Bryant, Peter Kiss. He's absolutely fantastic for the sport. He talks a lot of shit. He's basically Ric Flair (laughs) of college basketball. Uh, please, athletes, uh, <laughs> young athletes, we would like more of this. All right. I, I, you, you showed me a little bit. I'm sold. I uh, don't need to know much more than that. I'm betting on this kid. Yeah, and uh, Bryant has the. Uh, well, they're they they both shoot the free throw as well, but offensive rebounding, 43rd in the nation. You give me a team like Bryant with a with a known dog? Are you oh. kidding me? I'm on right state. Really, I am as much as I want to see Peter kiss, and I'm going to be rooting for him. But man, this is this is a uh, you fucking sandbagging son of dude, a dude. Wright State should not be a 16. Georgia State should not be a 16. They got two teams clearly wrong on the 16 <laughs> spot. Like honestly, like that is me, me and NC Nick were talking about. The Georgia State's the best 16 seed I ever seen. Better than UMBC. Better than I clip that shot. Yes, Wright State should not be a 16, folks. Uh, a 15, uh, you know, some of those 15 seeds, Jacksonville State that didn't even win their conference tournament. All right. They should have been a 16. This dude, 6'5. Delaware should have been a 16. He's 6'5, 200 pounds, Sean. And he he is the number five player in the nation. How am I going to go against Peter Kiss? Listen, number, he is a legend. He ranks fifth in the nation in percentage of his team shots. All right. What are we doing here? It's a 16 seed oh. game. Yeah. Uh, give me a give me the guy who's top of the nation in, in a game of two. Do you guys do you guys know where Wright State's located? North Carolina. Dayton, Ohio. Oh, shit. Do you know where this game's being played? Fuck. Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Wright State rolls. Oh shit. Uh hold on. Let me recalculate. It might be good to fade this guy after I got so excited. Horizon League. And they're red hot, man. They just ran through a bunch of teams. Uh, Beep, boop, 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 boop. No, no, I'm gonna stick with it. Give me Peter yeah, I'm Kiss. Staying with, I'm staying with Bryant. Fuck it, let's go. We'll be in Vegas. We'll be ripping it with this dude. Uh, I need a Peter Kiss jersey. Anyone out there got connections? Hook <laughs> no, me up. See now, Benedict uh, D- Dant over there. <laughs> yes, you picked yeah, against no, Peter what? Kiss. You cannot celebrate <laughs> the Peter Kiss uh, the the, the, the you, mojo. I had Bryant winning that the winning that NEC. <laughs> All right. Did you listen to the to college experience? Yeah. Now I can fade them, but still root for him to be an asshole. All right, it is Colby's good. going to be celebrating. We're all going to be cheering for Bryant come uh, Wednesday night at the win. It is good when Hell players yeah. are assholes. All right, Agreed. the sport is better. No one. When you have players and coaches be assholes, there, no, no one's no one's disagreeing. No one's disagreeing. All right. Wait, Bryant's the dog. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You're oh. giving a dog two yeah. points. Watch it, buddy. I misread the spread. That's crazy. Watch it, buddy. I mean, yeah, come on. We we got this. They've only Brian's only lost two games since uh, the new year, Colby. Yeah, they play in the NEC, buddy. Yeah, well, uh, the Horizon right is is much better than the NEC. Do, do, uh, We're about I, to find out on Wednesday. Quick, quick, quick question. <laughs> I'll we, see you in the winter circle. Do we do one lock or two locks? One lock. We only have four games. You we can only do one lock. Coward. All right, we'll do two locks. <laughs> yes, the double lock is brought to you by PropSwap.com. Should, should, should we add some NIT games? <laughs> Promo code they, they, they SGP. They fucking just came out, man. We'll be in Vegas, where America goes to buy and sell real <laughs> sports bets. Uh, again, you want to buy and sell some futures? A PropSwap is where you want to go. An instant deposit match up to five hundred dollars. You can feel like you're in uh, Vegas, just firing away on some of these tickets. PropSwap.com. Promo code SGP. Kramer, let it rip. Sorry, I'm just putting some bets in. Dun, dun, dun. Lock, Notre Dame. No. Really? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Notre Dame minus one. Lock. Dog. Up. Give me Corpus Christi. Give me TCC on the money line. Give me bonus lock, Indiana. Indiana minus three and a half. Indiana minus three and a half is my lock. Yeah, Texas scared. Corpus Christi. Uh, maybe it's too obvious of a dog, but uh, I'm all oh, over yeah, them on the games. money line. <laughs> and for my bonus lock, do I go Rutgers or do I go Bryant? These are the tough choices. Uh, <laughs> Give me <laughs> Rutgers. I don't know why I love this Rutgers team. Could be over quick, but I'm riding them. Let's go, baby. Um, let's lock up. Man, four games to choose from. Right state minus two. Uh, dog t- 
Texas A and M Corpus Christi. Yeah. Bonus lock is going to be Rutgers plus one. What do we think that money line is going to be? Is it out yet? On Rutgers? No, on Corpus Christi. One thirty? One forty? No, more than one fifty? Yeah, maybe more. I'm one sixty. I'm, I'm getting down on that. Oh my Regardless. God. Oh man! All right, March Madness is here. Great warm-up episode. Next time you hear us, hear our voices, we'll be live from the win in Las Vegas. Uh, looking to go live around 3 p.m. Pacific. So if you uh, subscribe to YouTube, turn on the notifications. You can catch that show live if you're uh, down for that. Again, the DJ dance, the big dance, giving away three thousand dollars in our March Madness. Handicapping contest. Contest should be live uh, sometime Monday. Again, download the app. It's going to be exclusively in the app. Fire away a notification as soon as the contest is ready to roll. And Merch Madness, uh, trading a review for your shot to win a free hoodie every day in March Madness. SportsGamblingPodcast.com slash Merch Madness. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second Muddy Green, and he is Ryan. Oh, this is March, Sean. Kramer, let it ride.